Hello everybody. Welcome to lecture 16 of our course Computing Ethics and Society. By the end of this lecture, we're going to complete chapter 5. The topic to be covered in this lecture is whose laws rule the web. As we know that the laws vary from country to country and each country has its own laws that rule everything inside the country. Corporations that do business in multiple countries must comply with the laws of all the countries involved. Someone whose actions are legal in their own country may face prosecution in another country where their actions are illegal. For example, Yahoo and French censorship. In 1999, two anti-racism organizations in France sued Yahoo in French court because there were a Nazi memorabilia offered for sale on Yahoo's US auction site, where these materials are prohibited in France and Germany as well. Therefore, Yahoo argued that it wasn't technically feasible to block access from France, and also French people could access Yahoo's site from outside France, but the court ordered Yahoo to make a serious effort to block such a material like that. And here is another example. For details of this example, you may go to the book in the page 261 and find the details. Also, this is the third example, libel, speech, and commercial law. Even if something is illegal in both countries, the exact law and associated penalties may vary. In cases of libel, the burden of proof differs in different countries. For example, in the US, the person who is suing has the burden of proving the case. Public figures must prove the published information is false and that the publisher knew it was false or acted recklessly. Libel law in some other countries requires that the publisher of the statement in question prove it is true or that the publisher reasonably believed it was true. Another issue in this regard is the libel tourism. Traveling to places with strict libel laws in order to sue. Where a trial is held is important not just for differences in the law but also the costs associated with the travel between the countries. Cases can take some time to come to trial and may require numerous trips. Some countries have strict regulations on commercial speeds and advertising. For example, European Union restricts advertising of medical drugs and devices directed to consumers. Some countries prohibit or restrict direct price comparisons, product giveaways, and advertising and conditional return policies, or that a business gives a contribution to charity for each sale. The justification for these laws is that such practices and advertisement confuse or trick consumers. Think about how can you resolve the issues created by differences in laws between different countries. 
what do you think would work and what do you think would not try to answer this or think about this with your classmate actually culture is different than laws so respecting culture differences is not the same as respecting laws the question here where a large majority of people in a country support prohibitions on certain content is it ethically proper to abandon the basic human rights of free expression and freedom of religion for minorities think about that as a solution to minimize the gap between the differences in laws in different countries countries of the world trade organization agree not to prevent their citizens from buying certain services from other countries if those services are legal in their own also this organization agreement does not help when a product surface or information is legal in one country and not in another alternatives principles first responsibility to prevent access second authority to prevent entry the first one publishers must prevent material or services from being accessed in countries where they are illegal for the second the authority to prevent entry government of country a can act with its country to try to block the entrance of material that is illegal there but may not apply its laws to the people who create and publish the material or prevent the surface in country B if it is legal there and here we reach to the end of this lecture and see you the next lecture goodbye